Take a look around if you'd like. Yeah, I know, it's not kind of crazy. It's kind of dark, it's family stuff, see a lot of junk everywhere, but this is everything. To us, this is our passion. Well, let me introduce to you. We have Felicia, we have Samantha, my name is Andrew, and we humbly call ourselves The Gatherers. Now, as gatherers, we travel across the galaxy to places like the Embrace and the Dathomir, the ancient ruins of Osis, or even the haunting Crystal of Moradan. Searching for relics that are rich in the galaxy's history, we're bringing them back here to the workshop for all of you to enjoy. Because we know we need to preserve the knowledge of the Force for many years to come. However, we are about to, we are living in troubling times. The First Order arrived here about two weeks ago, and the Resistance, they're hiding out in the forest. And their confidence of the galaxy into a state of unbalance. But in these trying times, that's when legends set forward. Legends like Luke Skywalker. Ooh. I love you. You've heard of him? Right yeah. Now. yeah. yeah. Okay, so long story otherwise. But I knew that guy stepped forward. Her name is Ray. She just might be that spark of hope we've all been waiting for. I know, Ray. And just like her, and just like Luke, all of you are here to answer a call. I know what you're To build this. The lightsaber. It is elegant, mysterious, most of all, it is powerful. It is an instrument wielded by our noblest of heroes. And our strongest of foes. Probably forgot that the lightsaber can force the bond between the builder and the force. We believe that each lightsaber is a work of art, no matter who built it, as it's a reflection of the builder. But the lightsaber is nothing without something small but very powerful the Kyber crystal. The Kyber crystal is the heart of your lightsaber, it focuses all the energy of the force within, magnifying it into a blade. That for the color you choose today will be the color of your blade. Now, there are maybe many crystals throughout the galaxy, but through our travels, we managed to collect four of to choose from. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. But first in history, starting with the blue, once wielded by Master Obi Wan Kenobi, his young apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now Rey, our spark of hope. Green, Qui Gon Jinn, Master Yoda. That's so Gatano, and the Skywalker himself. The violet, so rare and so beautiful, that once held by master, makes Windu. And the red, the crystal of power. Darth Maul, Darth Vader, Asajj Ventress, and now Kylo Ren. But we are not here to share their stories. We are here to give all of yours. So my little guy that I'm coming to you with a selection of kind of crystals that I've just described. <laughs> Reach out and take the crystal that calls to you the most. <laughs> Once you've chosen that crystal, please leave on that small green picture kind of you just temporarily. As your crystals are not stable, just yet. Your crystals mean somewhere to place them. And that's the first inside your head. So, these are the pieces of your The pieces that you chose to find around your kind of workshop today. The pieces you see will be the foundation of the United States. Oh, there you go. I'll tell you if you're going to bring it to me to which is kind of important. Now, it may look complicated. Don't worry. I'll be here to guide you every step of the way. If you need any assistance, this is my fellow guest for help. Before we get started, though, we'll go over each piece of the So let's explore. On the far left side of your tray is your chassis. This will house your camera crystal. Sections 1 and 2 are your grips, which are your two favorites. Section 3 is your image for the top. Section 4 is your pommel for the bottom. And then section 5 and 2 sets of that your plates that will help protect those camera crystals. All right? Now that we know more of our pieces, I have one question to ask. Are you ready to build? Yeah. Yes? All right, grab that chassis. So hold your chassis straight on just like this with the open end facing the ceiling. In the center chamber there is the upper part. As well as those ends is a spring loaded plate which you will fill with your finger. Now take your cracker crystal and use the pointed end of the cracker crystal to push up in the spring loaded plate and guide your crystal to an upright position point to point between the two plates. And if done successfully, your crystal will sink to you briefly and your chassis should light up the same color as your crystal. Now this is the trickiest part of the entire process. If you need any assistance, please let us know. Your chassis 
it does not line up for you, also let us know. But to make sure your crystals are secure, give a little spin inside just to make sure it doesn't pop out. If your crystal is secure, move to the far right side of your tray to section 5. And to the matching set of activation say section 5. It must be a matching set to the last set between the two. Now once you've chosen your activation plate set, take a look on the inside. You'll notice that one has a red square and the other has a blue rectangle. On the side of your tassel, it has the same red square and blue rectangle. Just like a puzzle, all you have to do is match shape to shape. So that red square will cover and connect to the red square, and the blue rectangle will cover and connect to the blue rectangle. They should easily snap together. With those things secure, your activations with the test by sliding up, and you should hear a misfire sound. It is very important that we hear that misfire sound. If you do not hear that sound at any point, please let us know if you do. Is that a switch from Richard? Man? With those activations placed secure, and you heard that misfire sound, you can pull up to the next range of section 1 and 2. Section 1 and 2 are your first. Out of the four cells of your two, you get two fingers. Any two of those four grips. One will go on the top of your chassis, one will go on the bottom of your chassis. It's entirely up to you which one goes where. Between all of the middle, we have another grip. Pick up that one, smoke the of your seeds. Each of your grips has a noticeably thicker, wider band. They may be silver, they may be bronze, they may be chrome. Regardless, that thicker band must slide in first from the center of the chassis, touching the activation plate on either side. Whether you put it on top or the bottom. Again, it's entirely up to you which side you're going to go on, you know that thicker band always slides in first. And then, when you have both grips on your chassis, give them both a twist. Twist the top to the left, the bottom to the right, apply pressure, and twist to work as up to secure the plate. Both grips should be secure and they should not fall out So, in 
just a moment, we'll return to the stations and we'll activate the lightsabers. But we'll do this together. So if you're ready, take those steps forward. Place your hand on your hips. Take a deep breath. Focus your energy. And together as one, activate.